Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we are going to be comparing ClickUp versus Monday.com. ClickUp and Monday are two of the biggest and most popular project management tools on the market and in this video I will put them head to head, show the prices, the features, the differences and everything that you need to know when choosing between these project management tools. So starting off with the pricing, we can see the pricing of ClickUp and Monday.com right here. Now, the best thing about both of these tools is the fact that they both have free plans. So we can see the free plan right here gives you two seats on monday.com. We can create three boards, unlimited documents, over 200 templates, eight column types and iOS and Android apps. So we can see the free plan on Monday right here and we will go into exactly what you get with all of these. But we also do have a free plan. These are both free forever plans on both ClickUp and Monday. Now, if we do go into more detail, we can see with the ClickUp free plan, we only get 100 megabytes of file storage. Whereas on Monday, this is a little bit better at 500 megabytes. So that is one thing, and this is where Monday is a little bit better. But one thing I would watch out for on Monday is right here, we can see automations. Now, automations are very important when it comes to a project manager. And we can see that this actually doesn't start on Monday even with this basic plan for $9. We actually need the standard plan right here, which is $12 per month. And this is where we can start getting automations in. However, with ClickUp, even on this free plan, we can create 100 automations right here. And then from here, it basically just goes up. So we have 1,000 on this $7 per month plan, 10,000 on this $12 per month plan. And that is definitely something to watch out for. Just be careful on Monday if you do want automations. You're not going to get this until you pay this $12 per month right here. Aside from that though, overall ClickUp is a little bit cheaper with the unlimited plan coming in at $7 compared to the basic on Monday for $9. The business is $12 per month and honestly with the business, I would compare this more to the pro with Monday, which is $19 per month. And then for the enterprise plans on both of these, probably if you are watching this video, you won't need enterprise, but if you do, you can contact sales right here. So overall, ClickUp is slightly cheaper of the two, but let's jump into what you actually get with both of these tools. Now, overall, straight off the bat, I would say that Monday looks slightly nicer and has a better user interface. And out of all of the project management tools that I have used, Monday.com looks the best. If we just go ahead and turn this into the dark mode, it's going to look even better. And this right here is the project management tool. So I created a project right here called YouTube videos, and I did the same thing on ClickUp. Now, if we go back, this is just a default table that we have been given. So I want to go in here and essentially delete all of the tasks that we can see. I just want a blank document right here. And what I'm going to do is because these are YouTube videos, let's say that the current project that I have is creating this video right here, ClickUp versus Monday. So in the task name, let's do this on ClickUp. We go to to do and let's call this ClickUp versus Monday. And as you can see, the task is going to be created right here. Then let's do the same thing on Monday. So to do ClickUp versus Monday. And we can see this task is now created. Now with both of these, to get into more information about this and to start adding more information to this task, we just go to the task, click on open, and then it's going to open up right here at the side. So that is the basic task. And now our team can come in here and they can see the current tasks that are to do. However, this is very broad. And what we want to do with a project manager is we want to be able to give our teams kind of more information and show exactly what goes into this task. So to do this, we can create subtasks. So to do this on Monday, we click on this drop down arrow and we can now start to add in different subtasks. So the first subtask for this might be record video. Then the second subtask, we can go add sub item and say edit video. Then we can create thumbnail and upload video, just like that. We now have all of these sub items created. So we can see them all right here. And then we can simply collapse this right here. We can see the subtasks that we have for sub items. And if we want to see these, we just extend this menu. To do this on ClickUp, we can do the exact same thing, drop this down and start typing in these sub items. 
So now on both of these, our team can come in, where they can see the task that we need to do, as well as all of the steps that are going to go into this. Now, next along, we can add an assignee. We can do this on both of these right here. On Monday, this is called the owner. On ClickUp, this is called the assignee. And this is which team member is going to be assigned to this specific task. So what we can do is click in here and on ClickUp, I can see my team right here. I have Jamie and I have Sarah. So let's say that I want to assign the main task to Jamie. Jamie is assigned the main task. So I can go down here and let's say that Jamie is the overall assignee. So I can add Jamie to record the video and edit the video, but maybe I want Sarah to create the thumbnail. So I can go in, add Sarah, and then I can also say to Jamie to upload the video. Now, what I can also do is if I really wanted to, I could come in here and add them both as assignees, but you can also delete and just leave the one. This is Monday's version. So once again, we can go in and I don't have any team members currently linked to Monday, but it essentially works in the same way where we can add all of these different owners. We can switch them up. We can add multiple people at the same time. And that's how we can add in the owner and assignee. Then we have the due date. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We can just add a due date right here. And we can also add the due date for specific subtasks. So we just go down and add this in. And then it's the exact same on ClickUp. So we have the due date right here. We can add all of these in just like that. And that is the base premise. I'm not going to go through every single one of these as it's pretty easy to do. What we can do, however, is we can add more columns. So we can go add column. And these are some of the essentials on Monday. But we can go into add columns and look at all of these columns that we can add. So these are all of the columns on Monday. I'd say ClickUp has a few less, but still has all of the major, most important columns that you want to add. You can just add them in. Let's say we want to add a drop down. We can call this whatever we want, create some options, and then we can add this in and essentially create different fields that are going to show up right here. However, the most important aspect to all of this is actually the status. So right now we can set this to not started because we haven't started this task. And then we can also set statuses for all of these individual subtasks. Then our team can come along and change the status to working on it. Then we can maybe change working on it to record video. Then once that is done, we come in here, change this to done and change this next one to working on it. We can do the same over here in ClickUp. So we go to the status, we can change these all to in progress or complete. And that's how you can change the status right there. And then what you will notice is if we now go over to the board, this a board view, which gives us a big overview of our pipeline. We can now see that this is automatically toggled to in progress. We can do this on Monday. It just takes an extra step. We need to go add view and then we can add the Kanban chart. And then this is going to be added in right here. And we are going to see the exact same thing where we have working on it, click up versus Monday. We can also drag these around into different sections. So instead of toggling these from this menu right here, we can do this from the Kanban chart and just drag this a lot. So that is how they both work as simple project managers. The final thing that I want to mention is just some of the other things that you can do with both Monday and ClickUp. So what we can do, I accidentally refresh that, is we can add a new workspace and we can add in a document. So we can create a doc right here. And this is just going to work like if you have ever used Notion or Word or Google Docs, we just have a document right here. We can start typing things out. Maybe you want to type out like instructions for your team or we can click slash right here. We can add in all of these different things. So this is the document. We can add videos, we can add tables, we can add code, we can add different types of text. And you can do this on both ClickUp and Notion. We have the docs right here create doc, and we can type all of this out starting right here. One thing that ClickUp does have over Monday, if we go in, you can see we don't have a clips area. However, in ClickUp, we do. So we can go to clips and essentially what this is going to allow you to do is record your screen. So maybe you have a new member of staff that is coming on. We can click record screen right here. And my screen is now going to start recording. So I could have my microphone over this. I could click around inside of ClickUp and show people how this works. So I could come in and say, hey, when you do this, do this. And I could explain exactly how this works. 
Alternatively, this is going to work outside of ClickUp. So if I open a new tab right here, my ClickUp script, this is still going to be recording. So I could use this, if you have ever used Loom, you can use this in the same way, where you can basically go to like a client, you can do client reviews, you can do case studies. And as I said, everything on my screen right now is still recording right there. Then we can stop recording. This is just going to go through and process and show me the clip that I just recorded. And that is something that you can do on ClickUp, but not on monday.com. Overall, these are both fantastic project management tools. And no matter which one you go for, you can't really make a bad choice when it comes to these two. My thoughts are though that although monday.com does have a slightly nicer user interface, the fact that ClickUp is cheaper and comes with a far better free plan, and it's mainly the automations that I am looking for in this area, then I would personally choose ClickUp. I think ClickUp is the better project management tool over monday.com. So that is my comparison of ClickUp versus Monday. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.